Welcome back. I'm sports director Matt Reynoldson. Hope you had a wonderful holiday weekend. We're gearing up quickly for the festivities of bowl season. Arizona is just over 48 hours away from taking on Oklahoma in the Alamo Bowl. It's the Wildcats first postseason appearance in six years and down in San Antonio on the Riverwalk is where we find News 4 Tucson's Jenna Fink. Jenna, this is truly a special opportunity for the Cats. Yes, it is, and these players are making sure to soak in every moment, just like the river rally that happened here on the iconic Riverwalk a couple of hours ago. Now, for most of these players, minus a few transfers, this is their first ever bowl experience. That in itself is already special, but for Texas native senior running back Michael Wiley, this game means even more. It was a show in the beginning. A rather candid description from senior Michael Wiley of what Arizona football was like when he joined in 2019. In five years, he has seen it all. Four losing seasons, three running backs coaches, and two head coaches. I'm not really the type of person to just kind of get up and leave. And he didn't. Wiley became a part of the rebuilding core under head coach Jed Fish, a go-to player on the field with 2,800 career yards and 28 touchdowns and a veteran leader in the locker room. Uh, hopefully uh, my legacy is solidified here. That's kind of the main reason why I came back, um, you know, to be able to uh, you know, have those big games. He thrived in those big games, especially this year's Territorial Cup. He won MVP after rushing for over 200 yards and three touchdowns. Now he'll play in his biggest game yet in his home state. How does it feel to play your final college game in Texas, just three hours from where you grew up? Uh, it feels great. Um, right now, I'm, I'm struggling to get as many tickets as I can for my teammates, uh, for my family and friends. Mike's made it very clear, you know, you know how uh, you could call it amazed he is that this happened like this. All the things have aligned after having to go through such uh, tough times. Those tough times have made this season's success that much sweeter. An Alamo Bowl win would be the icing on the Texas sheet cake. You know, we win this game, we're, we're going to be in the top 10 for next year's poll. And so uh, for me, I think I want to just leave it all out there and just, you know, give uh, next year's team the best possible uh, advantage they can have. To be able to really send him off with a win and send him off with uh, into his next life or hopefully an NFL life, which I believe it will be, uh, with a positive momentum would be just phenomenal. As Wiley mentioned, he has a lot of family making the drive to San Antonio. And last week when we spoke with him, he said he only had six tickets and he needed about 20. While we checked in today, he does have enough, 23 of them to be exact. So his family and friends will be able to share the special moment with him. We'll have plenty more Alamo Bowl coverage coming up here tonight and throughout the week on News 4 Tucson. Reporting live along the Riverwalk, Jenna Fink, News 4 Tucson.